right. 2014 Ram ProMaster. Um, this is my breakdown and conversion for the van. It's for sale. Um, the first thing that is really important to understand about the ProMaster is that I am six foot two and I can stand up in my build. Um, I can also sleep lengthwise in the build from how it's configured back there. So these are for tall people. Um, some people don't really like the ProMasters for some other reasons, but the amount of space you get, uh, it's, there's nothing that can beat it. Um, the, the build breakdown is pretty straightforward. It's a lot of living space and it's not wasted. Um, if you have somebody else, a partner, a dog, um, I've had both in here. It works really, really well. There's space to move past each other. There's space to sit, have people inside. Uh, it works really, really well. Um, pretty much the breakdown goes for its kitchen, um, kitchen storage. Um, so there's a shelf up here um, I use for some pants and miscellaneous. Um, and then it moves back towards the bed and the closet and uh, some storage and more and more and more storage. You'll find there's lots of storage in this thing. Um, kitchen's really straightforward. This is an RV um, stove and oven. Uh, it came out of an RV. It's rated to be inside one of these. Um, it vents out the back away from the wood. Um, it's really safe. It's sealed. No fire issues. And it's really efficient. Um, three burners. Oven space is large. I keep my kettle in there. Um, really easy to use. Super safe. Um, I've got my fridge. Fridge works great. Um, it's kind of the focal point of the van. Could have gone with a more efficient fridge. I like the way it looks. It really feels like home, and that's the whole point of this thing is that it's actually like a home, not a toy. Um, and then underneath here is the propane, which splits between the hot water heater and the oven. There's some storage down there. Uh, the sink runs, um, backup toilet paper, backup paper towels, cleaning material, instant meals for when I'm camping. Um, and then I have double sink. And then I have my uh, faucet system, which is also my shower. Um, you can come up. That's fine. Um, really simple how it all works because the control panel is right here, which is very convenient for anything you're trying to do. Um, it, the, the switches all have something to do. One runs the fan, one runs the sink. Um, you can change your temperature right here. You can change the flow. Um, if you don't want the hot water heater to come on, you just want cold water, you just set this to max. Anything above minimum will not ignite this. Uh, otherwise, you can just set it to a temperature. It'll turn right on, takes about 15, 20 seconds, um, and then you'll have hot water. Works really, really well. Takes actually hot showers, which is amazing. You just run right outside, there's a hook for it. Um, take a shower and it's already hot. So it's uh, it's awesome, super efficient. One of these large bottles of propane that I have in here has run both of these things my entire trip and it's been about three, four months now. And I still haven't changed it. I have a spare in the back. Um, these are clever. Um, the latches will keep them from moving back or forth. There's a lip inside here, which keeps stuff from moving out. So um, dry foods up here. Um, I keep my miscellaneous up here. Lots of storage, like I said. Um, there's a drawer down here, which I use for uh, pots and pans. I keep my eggs down there. Um, and then there's also a shelf in here for more pots and pans. It has a, a little vacuum that comes with it just for cleaning up around. Uh, there's a broom back here. Um, here, let me see it. What's really cool back here is I have two additional power cells. Um, I have two more also that they're both uh, relayed into the van. I'll get into that later. Uh, have my full thousand watt inverter. Um, and then I have my um, solar regulator right here. Uh, works great. Uh, no issues there at all. Set this back. Silly switch for the this actually turns on all four battery cells. So there's 200 watt, um, or sorry, 100, um, 100 amp AGMs under the seat. I have a 100 amp AGM that runs the accessories for the van. And then I have another 100 watt AGM that runs the engine. This puts them all together. So there's four of them in here. Uh, and then the alternator, the heavy duty alternator will charge them. 
Um, you can turn it on or off. Um, it's good not to run it all the time. That's why there's a switch here. The, the rest of the van. Um, you're fine, babe. Yeah, I, can, I can do the rest. You don't have to stay in the rain. Uh, the rest of the van is just all back here. Um, living space and bedroom space and storage. Um, table here is the same material. It's a butcher's block as oops, the rest of the countertop. It's great for prepping. It's great for eating off of. Um, so you have kitchen space here to cook, kitchen space here to cook. And then if you don't want this in the way, you'll notice it's on a leg. This actually folds up and then it'll tuck right under behind here. Um, it's designed to be put down all the time. If you want it out of the way, you can just tuck it up under here. Folds right out of the way. Um, You'll get down into here. This is just, I sit on it, so it's nice and soft. This actually folds up. Um, uh, I have all my hiking, backpacking, extra gear over there. Uh, just shoes, it seemed like it was pretty appropriate there. Um, I'll pop this open. Huge drawer underneath the bed. Um, socks, shirts, underwear, you name it. You can use it for whatever you want. Uh, makes sense to me though. Locks, this can't go anywhere, which is great. Full closet, um, two shelves. I keep my dirty clothes down there, but um, I've used this shelf before as well to store clothes when I've had a partner in here and it works really, really well. Um, another miscellaneous storage shelf up here, shampoos, cameras, you name it. Stays nice and safe. Um, you have your Voltmeter, this actually turns on your inverter, tells you uh, your power charge voltage regulator. This thing is not terribly accurate. Um, it's generally pretty close. It's usually about an actually like a full voltage low for what it reads if you read it with a voltmeter. Um, haven't been able to figure that out, but it's, you know, a cheap switch, so it's not supposed to be used for that purpose. Um, of course, probably saw the spice rack, a lot of fun. Um, we'll go around to the back. Actually, I guess I can go over this. Um, storage nets, these things have worked perfectly. Um, stretch, they go inside. Um, don't go anywhere. You can hang stuff off of them. Really, really easy. Books over there, one up there. Uh, fairy lights from around the top. Uh, that's super great there. Um, and then for when you're cooking, you have this light here, which is really bright, even though it's daylight out. It actually works really well. And we'll go around the back. Notice up top, full awning. It's an eight foot by eight foot. Unclips, rolls out, has legs, and then has lockers. So you don't have to do anything with that. The tires are about 50%. Um, it's still got lots of life left on those. And then we get back here. Usually there's never anything too pretty with the back of the van, but there's a 50 gallon water tank, which is inside of here, which you can see. It's flat, goes right along has an external filler over there, kind of like a gas tank. These two rollers sit on top just fine. That's the drawer that we were looking at. There's actually enough space. I slide a lot of stuff on top. Uh, some fishing poles, an upside down snowboard underneath the bed. Um, all my climbing gear, of course, out of the way, out of the way, some tool bags. This will come with the van, it's a spare um, full propane tank. Um, water pump is back there. That runs for the sink. And then around the side here, it's just your quick water fill up. Looks totally OEM. It's really, really nice. Uh, there's the solar panel set up. The roof rack is up there. Um, it does have all of the clips and things. If you want to put like a kayak, I have all that with it. And then, yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much it.